Have you guys heard of this tax grant where you can get up to $32,000? Let's talk about it. Hey y'all, in this video, we are talking about the SETC. That is the Self-Employed Tax Credit. Number one, this is a credit that you do not have to pay back. And this is a credit for entrepreneurs, for gig workers, if you have a 1099, you qualify. The main difference between this program and the ERTC program is you do not have to have W-2 employees. On this channel, we talk about entrepreneurship and ways to make money online and offline. So if that sounds like something that you're into, stay tuned. So let's go into my computer and I can show you guys how to fill out the application. If you slightly qualify, just apply. All they can say is no. But if you got a 1099, go ahead and apply. All right, y'all. So this credit is for 2020 and 2021. And basically, long story short, this credit is intended to provide financial relief to self-employed individuals who were affected by COVID-19 and basically had, they had COVID, somebody in their family had COVID and they had to take off work, right? So that is what this credit is for so if you have a 1099 even if you are w-2 and you did some work on the side as long as you have a 1099 apply right like i said all they could say is no because they're going to go through your tax returns and they're going to see okay do you qualify for the credit yes or no and if you qualify you can move forward and if you don't, it's okay. You can get up to $32,000. Now that $32,000, it depends on how much you made in 2020 and 2021, because they're gonna calculate it based on how much money you lost because you couldn't work, all right? So if you are a business owner, a sole proprietor, a gig worker, a 1099 worker, you qualify, all right? You are self-employed, you engage in business for yourself. So who can apply for this credit? A lot of people are asking that. Self-employed individuals can qualify for this credit if COVID had an impact on their ability to preform their self-employment, all right? So like I said before, the exact amount depends on a few factors, okay? Including the type of effects COVID had on your self-employment, the amount of time you were affected by COVID and how much you typically earn in self-employment income. So that's why I said the amount of money that you lost by, you know, not being able to work. Most important, do you have to pay this money back? No, it is a tax credit. You do not have to pay it back. How do you get the money? I know that's like, hmm, how? It depends. If you are up to date on your taxes, you will receive a check or a wire transfer from the IRS. If you owe taxes, then this will offset the amount of money that you owe. And it's kind of like, hey, you know, <laughs> it's money that you didn't think you were going to get. Now you can pay the IRS. So it's like a win-win, right? So let's go through the application. Literally takes 90 seconds to see if you qualify or not, okay? Oh, I was missing 220. It's up to $32,220, okay? So if you file a Schedule SE on your 2020 or 2021 tax return, you may qualify. So go back and look at your tax returns and see if you see the Schedule SE. Come back to the link in the description and fill out this application. So let me show y'all. All right, did you file one? Yes or no? If you're not sure, hit not sure. If you have to like find your taxes and you don't feel like looking for them right now while you're filling this out, just hit not sure. If you know for a fact you filled out a Schedule SE, then hit yes. Did you provide care for a child under 18 or a son or daughter with mental or physical disability? Yes or no? Yes or no, right? These are simple questions, okay? Of course, I, you'll probably get more back if you have if you provided for a child, um, because you if you had COVID, then most likely you know people in your house had COVID, so that means that you had to take off work for when you had COVID, and then you had to take off work for when they had COVID, right? So I'm just gonna put yes. Were any of your, like I said, were any of your children affected by the COVID-19 related school or daycare shut down 2021, 2020 or 2021? Yes. I mean, most kids were. Was your self-employment interrupted? Yes. 
Like you had to stop working because of symptoms. You had to stop working while you were waiting for a test. You wasn't able to work because you had to stay isolated. You were advised by the healthcare professional to self-quarantine. You took time off work to get vaccinated. Yes, everybody, yes, yes, yes. What was your approximate net income after taxes and deductions for self-employment? Okay, so put in the amount, right? So let's say if it was 50K. In 2019, what was the amount? Could be higher, could be lower. Look at your taxes and see, or, you know, look at your bank statements. I mean, you know how much you made, just, you know, put in the roundabout, right? So let's say you made um, 30K, right? In 2021, how much did you make? Say you made back. This is what you could possibly qualify for. That's it. Now you can either schedule a consultation or request the next available call back. Then what they'll do is they will give you a call. Make sure you answer the phone, okay? Make sure you answer the phone. If you schedule a consultation, you can schedule a consultation. They're open on Sundays, okay? All right, so when you schedule this call, have your 2019, 2020, and 2021 tax returns ready. So if you know that on this day at 11 o'clock, you're not gonna have all your information, don't schedule it that day. Don't waste these people's time. If you have to gather your documents, make it for further down in the week, but do not come to this consultation unprepared, all right? So let's see, request the next available call back. If you do this, you should have your information on you right then and there, okay? Only click this if you have your information ready. If you don't have your information ready, don't click this and just schedule a consultation. And that's it. That is it. That's all you have to do. They'll call you and go over your taxes and then you will get your money, all right? If you have any questions that I did not answer in this video, put them in the comments below so that way I can make another video answering those questions. But if you were a self-employed worker, do not leave this money on the table, all right? See you guys in my next video. I hope this was helpful.